Ian, Ian, Ian. Um, I could, I don't, I don't think the actual comments textbook, text box, sorry, would have. Uh, it's got enough letters in it, you know, for what I need to say. You are an incredibly humble individual, um, and I am so happy that you just threw it out there and put that video on. Because let me tell you, let me tell you for why. Now, I think you're beating yourself up too much. Yes. David Gilmore is a phenomenal musician. Absolutely slays it. And you're right. It's very musically, it's very, very simple. When when you when you look at it as a as a guitar tab or sheet music, whichever um whatever you put you know prefer to do when you when you tackle a song. But I, I liked your version better. And the reason is, is it's there's no doubt and it's clear that you are inspired and influenced by David Gilmore. Um, your tone choice, the, the guitar you're using. Um, I don't know if you've got I don't know if you've got the, the Gilmore mod in the Stratocaster, but it, it certainly sounds like you have. So the sound is on point. And when it comes to that first that first solo, it's you can clearly I can clearly hear it's oozing with david gilmore magic but it's being played by you and it doesn't matter if you know if you know you you know just you hit a you hit a bum note or it's you know you lose the the timbre or the what's the word i'm looking for like the the speed of it it doesn't matter because it's it's those tiny little flaws and quirks in your playing that is your style that is and, and that's where the feel comes from when you, um, well, for me anyway, that's where the the, the feel, because I try, I try it myself all the time. I absolutely love Stevie Ray Vaughan. He's the reason I got into guitars, and, and I've been trying to play Stevie Ray Vaughan since I was 13 years old, and I still can't do it, so I give up. I give up trying to sound like Stevie Ray Vaughan. I, tried to, I stopped trying to learn his music note for note because it's too difficult. But I think by listening and practicing and trying to I've of course I make mistakes all the times and there's definitely bum notes and the strings that don't ring out that should ring out but that but somehow to my ear it sounds nice it's it's developing my style of playing heavily intru influenced by Stevie Ray Vaughan yes but I am not trying to I'm not trying to rip him off or mimic him in, in any way it's just He's the guy that influenced me the most. Um, so just don't be afraid to even think it. You know, if you, you know, when you like, you make your video and you watch it back and you're like, oh, I don't really like the sound of that. Of course, because you're your own worst critic. But you just just throw it out there because you know when 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 we are sat down watching and listening, we're here in the we're here in the feel of the music, if that makes sense. And and for me, that's that is what it's all about is the it's the way it makes you feel when you're hearing it it's the way it makes you feel as you're playing it yeah it's honestly buddy job well done guys if you're not following ian sloan um and you you're into guitar music improvising you know all that sort of stuff i would highly highly recommend you get on his channel because th this guy can play um He's a great musician, incredibly humble. Yeah, Ian Sloan. Well done, buddy. I've got to pop a link to his channel in the comments. And uh, yeah. And oh, by the way, this is my first, first ever sort of video response because I didn't know what to type in the box, Ian. Anyway, thanks for watching, buddy. Thanks for watching, everybody. And Ian, just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep at it. Thanks.